I'm yeah. going to be training, yeah. pressing, pressing. I was meant to train last night, didn't get back to Hunter's Stand until 10 p.m. So I'm training, pressing today. And I might even train legs tonight, but you won't see legs session. But yeah, I'll be training, pressing in about five, four, three, two. Big strong man can't open the door. Yeah, hey guys. It is me, I am back from Amsterdam. Luke's not here, he is on his way home. He was down in London at a wedding, so we will have him back for the next video. But for me, it's pressing, nothing too serious. Um, I think I've got five fives in my program. And I'm probably gonna hit maybe, let's just be between 110, 150. I'll see how I'm feeling. All the fights being delayed last night and stuff. It's, I'm a bit tired, but I'm gonna, gonna go in see what the crack is and then train. So hope you enjoyed the li last video of the voiceover on Stokeman, the Stokeman channel. Also, if you want to see Luke, Sean Sean and a few other boys go up, fight us, Sean did it in his bare feet, go check out more Stokeman. If you want stone feet, come with me. Stone feet. <laughs> <laughs> it's a cool video, I think that's Luke's first time he's walked up uh, fighter since he's been like 12 years old, so it's a very proud moment for him. Stay spicy. Oh my god, this is frustrating. Why do you put knee sleeves on for pressing, bro? To protect my knees, I use knee sleeves in everything I do except from deadlifts. Deadlifts for me, they uh, don't work because when you deadlift, you can catch it on here and they can, uh, you can roll up the uh, legs and that better with the skin, so sometimes these get in the way. But I use these knee sleeves for everything else. When you have the bar, here, you're gonna have all that pressure going down this way, and you're gonna have a lot of pressure on your knees. So it's just to protect the knees. Don't be stupid and protect your knees. There's the same reason why some people have wrist straps on for squatting. A lot of people think like, why is he putting wrist straps on? But I never wear wrist straps. But I think it gives you a much more stable uh, uh, grip, and I think it stops your wrists and that from, you know, going back too much. So I you know some people do that, but that's another kind of weird, a weird one which a lot of people ask like, why is he wearing? You know, for squatting, you think you'd only have knee sleeves, belt, or wraps on, but you wear wrist, you know, wrist sleeves. So a lot of them. Some people do it for yoke as well. Some people wear these shoes when they're doing yokes and stuff with a heel. So yeah, everyone's different. You know, a lot of different things out there and different ways to do stuff. Open these lats up. What's your warm up? So I don't do too much stretching. When you warm up with weights, you should just warm up the movement you're doing. If that makes sense. So obviously. Push press, right? What I do usually is just do a few of the bar. You've seen one there, but like I did four or five sets just to the bar, get the blood flowing in them, just to get the muscles used to that sort of press as well. Then I'll add 60, do a few sets of this and go up that way. I never ever stretch when I do it on weight on my weight training days. I only ever stretch on a day by itself, so that's obviously why we do mobility. I don't like feeling too loose. Um, I've done it before where I've done mobility and tried to train, and for me it didn't work being too loose. And having all the muscles stretched out too much before you do weight training can, uh, you know, get injured more. So you want a wee bit of tightness there just to protect that muscle. So if I do feel really tight, I'll try and stretch that out my lats. You know, I'll do some shoulder stuff with the bands and stuff, but my shoulders feel alright. You know, I had a massage on the other day, so I feel a bit, you know, better than I used to. So yeah, I'll do the only really thing that's sore right now are my knees from the travelling. So that's why I've got these protected straight away as well. I think today I'm going to skip 80 and go straight to 100. Get a few of it. A few singles at this. Put Do single raw, then put on arm sleeves and wrist straps and see how it feels with that. I think I might start my first set of five at 110. We'll see, I might even start my first set of five at 100, but there's not really anything in place right now. As long as I'm progressing each week, that's the kind of main thing. So I didn't train last week to had raw surgery, but the week up before I did three sets of five at 110. So, you know, it's just about progressing each week. So let's see what happens. I think what I'll do, Sean, 
warmed up properly is 100 for five will be my first set and then see after that you know there's nothing we're training for pressing wise i'm just trying to maintain This side it's the opposite hand, so that's on the right side, this goes on the left. This is on the left, it goes on my left and it goes on the right. And that's how you know as well. So, if I was to put this one on this, if I try to put it on the right way, yeah it would go on. You can only get it on one way and that's the Velcro facing out. And the good thing about these as well, the colours are different, so you get the red ones, you get the greyish ones and they always have feel grey in the back and they won't have the velcro on the back so for obvious reasons they're not going to go on and in terms of like tightness how tight do you want it to be uh tight depends some people do them tight tight so that they can get a full kind of big big security in the wrists for this i like them tighter than i do for log log this is much more uh wrist orientated so you're using i think in this press you're using more wrists and there's a lot more pressure on your wrist with log press it's not as bad so log i don't have them as tight but these are probably the tightest I'll have, so these are pretty tight for me. One more. Good. Two sets of that felt really comfy, so I want to push my wee bit stuff a wee bit today. So we're going to stick one twenty on and see how the next set feels, and take it from there. All stayed in place. Yep, definitely all styrene, 100%, there's no doubt about that, if you can listen to the, yeah, Paul styrene, he's at it. Big weight, baby. Four sets down, one to go. Surprisingly quite easy. I've not touched a belt either since belt world, so I've managed, so I'm trying to keep everything beltless for my core. I'm getting, my pressing feels strong. Did 100, 110, 110, just done a set of 120, doing another one of these. More comfortable than I thought, not using a belt either. Volume stuff on pressing is hard when, you know, to get your mind right for it, but yeah. So far, so good. 120 for two sets of five, I'll be really happy with. I know that once it starts going down to doubles and triples, you know, I'll be staying up at 150, 160, so that'll be good, so. Yeah, another last set, no belt. Five reps to go. <coughs> so that's five fives off the push press done. I said, Dan just said to me, go in and see what you feel like doing today. 120 for two sets of five. It's the heaviest I've been since. I started this kind of preps for next year, so all good, everything's just going to keep going up and up. I think what we do in the off season is so much harder as well. Um, we do a lot of rep stuff. I keep a lot of volume in when I'm doing my pressing because that's how I keep strength up and build muscle. So, yeah, very happy with that. See where we are. Now we're going on to three sets of eight chest press. We're going to load this bad boy up. Right guys, if you want to become strong, fit, or just a better version of yourself, go check out the Stokeman Strength Academy. The link is in this bio and uh, come join our team.
Let's go. Yeah, so that's the uh, chest press done. Let's see a bit heavier this week, three sets of eight. And now we're on this cubing press. I don't really know how you do this, but it's meant to be really good for shoulder health. You're meant to start here, come up like, so you start at this, come up here, here, press. When you come back down here, down, down. I'm just gonna do two sets of this today. Eight reps as well, because it's a boring exercise. I don't really know if I'm doing it right or not. So. Three sets, 15 reps, plate raise is in the name. You raise the plate up in front of you, 15 times. Banded face pulls and triceps. Yeah. We are now on to banded face pulls. Three sets of 12. How's your conditioning and stuff? Yeah, I mean, obviously I'm not conditioned to compete, but I'm getting more conditioned with my shoulders and stuff. As you guys seen in this video, it's a lot of high rep stuff, a lot of lactic acid build up and stuff, so it's nice to get back to feeling like that and pushing a wee bit more, you know, I've not really had to push much in the trim, so it's nice to you know, do the two sets of the last two sets of 120, then pushing with the plate raises and stuff and just pushing some high reps is nice, so nice difference, that's why I can train three days a week and be fully recovered each time and I'm doing a lot of the hot and cold batting as well now and my physios are still up so everything's going good let's do it one more set eh? oh. the pressing session is done I did it on a lonesome today, again Luke was down in London at a wedding but he is going to be here for the next video and also as you can see Harry is in this outro, we are going to be training with Harry from next week onwards, Harry will be back in these videos as all you guys wanted him to so Becoming a strong man seems. Yes becoming yeah. a strong man sees, Harry's going to be doing events today so yeah we'll be following his journey Stay tuned Next week, stay safe smile, stay spicy and keep ringing that little bell <laughs>